how new Chris 3 is doing. He should be doing pretty good. I put him right on a spot I used to do good at over 25 years ago. So the intel's a little, uh, whoa, first bait. <laughs> the intel's a little bit old, but. All right, I don't even know if this video will even get published. I'm just going out and going with a buddy, just kind of tagging along with him in my boat just to help him get his boat straight for trial line crabbing. So I'm gonna be running, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take all my line. It, the bait is freaking old. It's like, it's been a walk-in for like a week and I used it two days already. So, you know, I'm not expecting much from that bait. You know, I'm gonna be going here shortly, like for real, but this is just like kind of a tag along, help him get his, his stuff straight type mission and I'm gonna go ahead and put that line all my line in the water but it's got the old bait on it and I'll be trying a river I've not tried yet this year well I did try it once but it was with old bait also <laughs> but it, it was really early so this is a late river um you know this one doesn't start hitting till late so go ahead and uh I don't know at least try it out and maybe this might make a interesting video worth uploading I guess we'll see all right and when I put these trial lines into the boat there was no intention of yanking them laying them back out like if i know i'm going to be running my bait the next day you know when i pull it in the boat i do it a lot different than if i was just planning on baiting up you know the freaking line is not coiled in here correctly i don't have my my tail my beginning of it or end whatever you want to call it I don't have my clip out, so I can so I'm have to like do all this crazy stuff at the end, like grab the clip and hurry up and clip it real quick. <laughs> Freaking crazy beginner crap, people that don't know how to set the lines up after. I'm gonna have to do that because I wasn't planning on laying this back out. So you know, I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. Kind of sucks, <laughs> but <laughs> whatever. We'll see what happens. All right, rolling right along here. Got the sunrise coming up. Got new Chris 3 rolling along behind me here. Stuff looks like it's doing pretty good. I just got all my one week old bait line in the water. It's a lot of line. <laughs> I'm, you know, I got consolidated into two areas that I remember doing good in, you know, years ago in this river. So we'll, uh, I'm getting ready to hop on this first one, see what happens. I mean, I don't have high hopes at all. I mean, it's what time is it now? Right now it is 6.30 now. So, I mean, I guess we're not too bad on time, but the tide is low tide. Uh, the, I'll be fishing the incoming tide. I think right now it's like real close to dead low tide. Not good crabbing conditions, but there is some cloud cover, which is good. Make it so I've got a little bit more um, maneuverability as far as running my line with direction and stuff. Not too horrible wind. The wind's supposed to pick up and it's supposed to be um, pretty like 10 mile an hour wind later. Uh, was it north, east, east? So mostly east and north wind today. And you know, oh yeah, thunderstorms later. So maybe that uh, whatever, the electricity in the air, whatever do some of these crabs and make them feed. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and run, run all these lines, do a round real quick, see what's going on. And then I'll start uh, filming some of the stuff. I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this. I don't know. This is just kind of like a messing around trip. Buddy's boat's doing good so far. He's, he laid his lines out too. Between the two of us, we got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start running all my lines and I'll go check on him, see what he's up to. And he's got fresh bait. But, all right, let's see what happens. All right, well, ran the first line and old bait and everything. Not having a clue what the heck's going on. Real nice, good number one crab right there. Nice and hard, pretty large, little, about seven inches. So, not bad at all. Go ahead and run, run these other three lines and see what they produce. Try to figure out what the heck's going on here. I have no clue. Caught him in about six foot. So, but I had that other line shoulder and deeper 
hit him in six. So I, I don't know what's going on. Not off that one number. All right, so current situation, crabs are just absolutely incredible. I did one round. I got one, two. I got half a dozen just absolutely beautiful crabs. One number two is just a little bit, a little bit shy of a good one as far as size is concerned. So I just lifted this line up out of the water. That's my longest line. And it was only catching one crab. I just got it a little bit too shallow. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it back out a little bit deeper. It's looking to me like I'm seeing them. I don't have it too much deeper than 15, but it's looking to me like I'm seeing them between, between six and 10. So I'll go ahead and aim for eight when I lay this one this time. I had too much of it in five, six foot. So it's just a little bit too shallow. I just gotta bring it to the, uh, a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna go ahead and relay it. See, I got it. <laughs> I'm like right at the end of pulling it in to go relay it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this back out. <clears throat> then thinking about relaying one of the ones I got a little bit too shallow on the other side. I got like, you know, over 2,000 foot on one side and over 2,000 on the other side to figure out what's going on. My buddy New Chris 3 is over there. I don't know what he's up to yet. I gotta go over there and see what he's doing. I gotta go over there and see what he's doing in a little bit. He's been on that one line. I know he's got like three. He's been running that one, so maybe he's doing something. I don't know. So, go ahead and lay this back out and see what I can't do. See if I can't get on, on him a little bit better. The tide's all the way out. So this is one you want, when you want to make your adjustments is when the tide's not moving. So I got, you know, an hour to make some adjustments. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do what I said here, put this a little bit deeper and maybe put my long line on that side a little bit deeper too. My two short lines are doing all right, two, three crabs a piece. So, you know, that's not too bad, especially on this low tide. So we'll see what happens. And again, this is my third time using this bait. And I put this bait on these lines about a week ago. So I'm kind of glad to see anything. <laughs> All right, so I moved two of my lines. My two long ones, I went ahead and moved both of them a little bit deeper. And again, you know, I got this old bait on here. I'll go over in a little bit and see how new Chris 3 is doing. He should be doing pretty good. I put him right on a spot I used to do good at over 25 years ago so the intel is a little uh whoa first bait <laughs> the intel is a little bit old but the water's real clear here and i got this end a little bit shallow But it drops into a hole and then comes up the other side. So yeah, this, this, this is my best line so far. I caught three on it last time. So far three this time, should be some more on it. Slow her down a little bit so you can see me dip this one that's coming. There, you go. oh, dropped off. See, I slowed it down and dropped off. Just trying to get on camera a good dip. So that would have been four if I was going the right speed.
They're not feeding quite right. I've seen two drop off. So three monsters on that one. Wow. Now doesn't he know that I need to go ahead and get on that buoy? You don't see that too much. <laughs> Freaking bird land on your buoy. It kind of looks like the tide's coming in. I know that wind's pushing this way, but... I don't know. Go ahead and hop on this line see what happens. Kick the bird off. Alright, so moving that one long line went from one crab on it. That one, it caught five crabs. So, significantly better. Yeah, hopefully the move I made on the other one all I did is move that whole entire line the whole thing deeper probably like 30 foot from where it was sitting originally it's crazy but so yeah especially on this old bait this isn't bad I'm gonna go ahead and run that other line I moved and hope that you know I don't feel as strong that that move helped as much as this one did because I didn't see the depth when I moved that one that I saw with this one I just just circumstances made it so I could only move so so much deeper not as deep as I'd like to so we'll see what happens on it all right so new Chris 3 caught his largest crab he's ever caught <laughs> so how big did it end up being it looks like it's pushing nine that thing's a freaking monster yep. Right, right at nine. Right, nine inch freaking yep. grab. Jesus. Uh, that's Jeez. freaking awesome. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Awesomeness. So yeah, I mean, we both got about 15. He's moving his stuff around. You know, that one lay, that, that first one probably did the best, didn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so I've been seeing them between six and eight yeah same 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 so awesome i mean i mean i think we're doing all right i mean i don't know what the heck's going on out here i don't see no other boats really crabbing nope there's probably the, some of the prettiest crabs you've ever seen aren't they oh yeah <laughs> <He's just static. laughs> i mean they're really nice freaking crabs i mean they are but all right we're gonna go ahead and um get his winder straight and keep keep knocking at him here all right i'm yanking lines up as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and yank, yank them up. Uh, I don't know. I'm running them and yanking them. So I uh, do show what I caught after I get everything in the boat. Run everything one more time and get it all on the boat. It's about 10.30 a.m. and we got all our gear and everything in the boat. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out here. Chris caught the master crab of the day, that's for sure. <laughs> we both caught about a half basket. I got a half, he got about a half. No, I guess not too bad for getting out here late. Yeah, my bait was off, but I did have a little bit more line in the water than he did how um how much um would you have like a half basket of clams yeah okay yep. so i had a whole basket of clams on so you know not not i guess not too bad what do you think not too bad you know it's out here messing around yep. in this boat straight and stuff but all right thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe